Hey yo, welcome to the channel today. Uh, so I got, I just got an epic chest from a battle that I just did. Super excited about that because it was not in the plan on Stats Royale. So I don't know if it's wrong or whatever, but it did not say that I was going to get an epic chest. So I'm pretty excited because it was out of the blue. Pretty uh, stoked about that. Couple things today, we are going to hit up. Uh, this new deck that I put together, uh, I've never seen anybody play with it, but it has helped me cruise, dude. I've won uh, one, two, three. I just started using it for a uh, draw, obviously. Five, six, boom, seven, eight. Oh, and then I lost the first, I think, two when I was trying it out. No, 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 no. So I tried it out. So basically, I won ten. No, that was the princess one. Oh, so I switched the princess out for the goblin gang. And then basically won 10, draw, drew one time, and then lost one twice. So it's not too bad a deck. It's doing pretty good for me. But first things first, we are going to switch back to this deck. And we're going to try and finish this grand challenge that we started yesterday. And see how far we can get with it. And then maybe I'll switch back to that other deck and just try it out on, <laughs> see if I can't show you how I play it a little bit because it's doing pretty flipping sweet for me. And I love it. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. So, um, oh man, how's the day going? It's starting to snow again. It's almost May. It should not be snowing. I don't care what state you're in or how you're living your life. It should not be snowing right now in May. I should be dirt biking in like a week is when my dirt biking season starts and I have not been able to do that yet. So I am flipping getting frustrated because <laughs> I know that it's still going to be quite snowy up in the mountains and you know I don't like that at all. So anyway, is what it is. We're going to have to roll with it. Maybe I'll be dirt biking in the snow a little bit more than I wanted to this year and I guess I'll have to roll with that. <laughs> That's okay. So we're going to throw a graveyard down, a little bit late on the placement there, which is my bad because I'm chit-chatting too much. Um, that uh, minion horde is going to be super annoying. Um, I'm going to poison all that because that should hit the minion horde and it should help clean up the goblin gang as well. That way, yeah, that did pretty dang good against all that, so I'm happy with that play. I'm okay with that. I wonder how the poison is going to interact with the hill spell when it comes out. I don't think the poison's going to be able to keep... I don't know. It's kind of like the anti-heal spell, right? And so I don't know that the poison's going to even be able to keep up with it. So I guess we'll kind of see how that plays out. That heal spell's going to be somewhat of a doozy. A doozy, I tell you. Um, this golem's going to be kind of annoying <laughs> to deal with. It always is. Golems are always super annoying, but that's okay. I'm going to drop the bowler down. I'm going to drop that down, my knight down, and then I am going to suck that all up so that the golem just does not pop on the tower there and then hopefully dang it oh this is going to be painful kind of screwed up there guys kind of, actually you know what i'm okay with that that wasn't too bad i thought it was going to be a lot worse because i thought those minions were on the tower um we're going to put baby dragon down should take out that goblin gang pretty well and then we will throw a graveyard of our own down and a poison right on top boom uh, that tower's pretty much toast because he screwed up and dropped his golem. Come on, baby, take that tower down. And then our tower might be toast just as well. <laughs> so I'm going to tornado again right before he pops because I got stuck. So tornado all that together. And then we should be able to take that out. Hopefully the minion horde does not all target my... There we go. Come on. We're... This is going to be real close, guys. This is going to be so close. I don't know. We should be able to hold them off. I hope we can hold them off. That way. Oh, are you kidding me? Another flipping golem? Wow. That is nuts. So we're going to put that down. We're going to put that down. And we are going to poison. And then hopefully tornado all that away. Don't hit the tower. No! Dang it. Dude. Oh my gosh. I did not see that coming. At all. Did anybody else see that coming? The lightning did not come out earlier in the game. And so it was a little bit of shock factor to all of us. Um, boom, we're going to drop Bowler in the back. We're going to get ready for another push, and we're just going to take that other tower. I don't care who you are. What did you zap for, dude? That was your call. Oh, rotation. He was in a bad cycle, and so I'm not going to judge him too harshly for that little zap. We're going to do that. We're going to do that, and then we're going to do that. Boom. We should be able to, yeah, suck all that into the poison. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Come on, come on. 
we got to take that golem out. We've got to. I kind of used my, uh, what do you call it, that? Oh, son of a biscuit, dude. We're going to have to poison in here, dude, to take all that out. Oh, no, no, this is taking us down so fast. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dang it. Dude, I can't believe you had that first tower, dude. Once you get so many flipping, what is that? <laughs> my wife uses this tablet. Anyway, so here we go. Let's see what we got in this chest anyway. Maybe we got something pretty sweet. I didn't want to play these. This dang ch I didn't want to play this stupid deck anyway because I'm tired of it. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see what we got. Come on, baby. Show me something sweet. Um, that was lame. 5,000 gold, though. You cannot complain ever about 5,000 gold. So the Hill Draft Challenge, that looks pretty awesome. Pretty excited about that. So let's go ahead, we're gonna switch decks back over here and then I'm gonna go back up on the ladder and see if I can't push a little bit higher with this deck. And hopefully things go like they have. You saw my you saw my log there and I was doing pretty good. So let's see what happens when I'm, you know, in front of you guys with this deck here. The Elite Barbs, they got that nerf. Not too big of a deal, I'm okay with it. Um, it doesn't seem to be slowing them down too much. Please don't fireball. That. Dude, that was so gay. can't believe you did that, dude. I'm going to punish you so hard just for doing that. Just for that. Um, we're going to take that Goblin Gate. Oh, dude, nice play with that Ice Golem, dude. That was perfect. Excellent play. Um, dude, he toasted us there. That was a great little turn of events for him. That worked out really well. Drop those minions in the back again. I dare you. I dare you. Just do it. We're going to drop minions of our own. We're going to set up a push on this side. See what he's got coming. So he's got Hog Rider. We should be able to lure that and the minions all over there. And then our minions will go assist. So that worked out decent. That worked out decent. I'm happy with that. And then I can't remember. He put a cannon down, right? And so we should be able to take that princess out. Bypass the cannon. Because <laughs> he was late on the placement. And I'm okay with all that. That was actually a pretty good play for us. I think we came up on damage on the tower. So now we just got to worry about his hog rider coming in hot. Thank you. That was well played. I appreciate that. So now we got to worry about what else does he have besides the hog rider though. He's got princess. So we'll drop our minions down just defensively. Um, basically anticipating whatever he's got coming our way. And then we'll drop. Oh man, he went on that side. Good play. Excellent play. Oh crap, he just took out my entire goblin gang. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop. Oh crap, hog rider. I'm too late on the hog rider, so I can't really launch it yet. I can't do anything with that thing. So we'll just wait there. I'm gonna have to log that, which stinks because now I can't use the log for the princess. Um, but that's not too big a deal because he has to use it. We're gonna do our hog rider just so he uses his cannon and then we'll do that for that and then we will get ready with our goblin gang. Goblin gang should take out the princess just fine. Oof, man he got a ton of damage on us. Oh, what did it, what did damage on his tower? A hog rider got it through there I guess? That's awesome. I'm okay with that. So we'll wait right here. Um, the Musketeer should clean everything up pretty nicely, so I'm not going to do anything with that. I wasted a ton of elixir, just chit-chatting away. And then we'll use Cannon up there, and then Hog of our own. And then we'll log Princess away, because she's super annoying. And then, come on, all we got to do is get that Hog. We're going to put our barbs in, and we're going to rush real hard. And then hopefully we should be able to flip. I think I screwed up, guys, real bad. I don't think I can recover from that mistake. That was the biggest mistake ever. And, ooh, that's gonna hurt. That is gonna hurt. He's kinda making mistakes too, so we're both kinda making mistakes left and right. Um, I should be able to do that. Baby, get the hog hit once. No, baby, come on. So we've been doing that. Wait for his hog to come in again. He's no, You know he's gonna send his hog in hot. There we go, there we go. And then we'll put minions down to take care of his his princess targeted on our tower for some flipping reason. I have no idea why. We'll have to do that and that. And then hopefully we can get... There we go. That goblin gang is going to clean up that cannon. Quick. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Get some hits off on that tower. There we go. We're going to do that and that. Boom. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Hot. 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 You know, why did you... T why did you focus on... Oh. My heck, that was so close. That was so close. Oh my heck. Okay, 
That is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to get right back into a, another battle with that deck and see if we can't replicate that same thing. That one was a little bit drawn out. I think that was a little bit uh, whew, stressful, you know what I'm saying? Real stressful. All right, so now we got the starting hand. This is a tricky starting hand because what do we want to do with that? We're going to basically, we're going to put our elite barbs there and minions there. We should be able to clean all that up. Ooh, and he's got his hog rider coming in real hot. You got to take that out, dude. You have got to take that out. That was a good play on his part because I stalled too long and I wasted a ton of elixir. But we're going to get some damage on both of his towers. Quite a bit, actually. Holy cow. <laughs> Those minions, man. I'll tell you. If they go unchecked, those things can do some serious, serious damage. That Musketeer should do pretty good against the Valkyrie. She'll probably get two swings off. Yeah, she got two swings off. We'll have to roll with that. Sometimes you have to eat a little bit of damage so that you can deal some crazy damage. So, ooh, he's rolling with a Witch. Excellent. And the Musketeer didn't go up to where... That was perfect. That was absolutely perfect. Musketeer didn't go up to where he was going to get hit by the tower, so that worked out really well for us. I kind of had a bad placement on those elite barbs, so I'm going to have to log that away just so we can clean up that witch, that knight and everything, and that was pretty good. Well played on my part. Not too bad. Pretty good cleanup on that. So now the question is, which side do I want to go with? Um, I would usually go for the right side. I don't know why, because I'm right-handed probably. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shirk over to the left side because we obviously have more damage over there. And I'll see what he throws down. Probably, oh man, that was good timing for us. That worked out really well. I'm going to use a musketeer just to clean up this whole goblin hut. And then I'll put minions down for the Valkyrie as soon as she gets over there so that the tower can kind of help deal with them a little bit and then we should be able to smoke that over there pretty well because I got the goblin gang I got my elite barbs I'm gonna put on defense we'll throw the hog out there and we'll put the elite barbs behind the witch and then I'm gonna go ahead oh I flip and missed the uh, what do you call that thing the hog rider dude that sucked <laughs> that was my bad um, I'm pretty sure that tower is in fireball range so I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'll have to put a cannon up here because I don't want that wizard doing anything to my stuff. Um, that's a problem. Not too big of a problem, but it's a little bit of a problem. It's something we need to think about is that. Um, maybe I should have fireballed those elite barbs. I don't know. Now I'm just going to log all that away and then I should be able to do that and that and then hopefully that takes out that hog because he's in rocket range now, right? Dude. Please do not rock it. <laughs> he did not see my fireball the whole game, so that kind of helped us out. So he didn't know it was coming. He did not know that was coming. He's going to try and rocket that tower, I think. No, he's not going to do anything. That deck works so good. You guys have got to try that out. Elite Barbs, the Hog Rider, and then Goblin Gate. Man, those are, those are what kill it with that deck. It is bringing me, dude, this is almost my personal best. What is my personal best here? 4356, so a couple hundred trophies away, um, but it does a pretty good job. I love this deck. Try it out for sure. Um, keep on playing Clash Royale, and hey, good luck.